Detective K. Mike, what the fuck are you doing? Becoming a better man. Cybernetics are the future, boys. You'll fall in line eventually. Don't need That's me my right. cybernetics. I'm planning to uh, get a cybernetic eye. Fuck out of here. I made the report already. I'm going to go uh, off road and speak with Mickey and see the side. Uh, lost it in a. Uh, all right, uh, well, shooting Mickey, a movie, you, actually. The water, by the way? You know, that case where the... Um... No, I'm fine. I'm gonna be, uh, seizing your, your things, bag and thing for DLC. Uncuffing, you can have a seat, and we need chat. Because we have a lot to talk about. Mm-hmm. Have a seat. All right. Do you need a lawyer, by the way, or no? No, I'm... <clears throat> no, I'm good. Okay, um, let me turn on this recording. Uh, well, today is uh, January 26, 2022. I am the Chief of Police, Sam Bass, joined with Detective K. Uh, suspect, can you please uh, say your name for the record? Mickey S. Thank you, Mickey S. The reason why you're brought here under uh, two charges, one being criminal use of explosive, and then second being uh, the disturbation of the, the power plant and you know tampering with the power plant. Is that a now, charge? I want to ask you. It is actually. Um, before I do so, Ryan was asking for you on radio, Bass. Is he? Uh, he's gonna hop on on the radio in a sec. <sighs> Give me one second. Ready to check? Uh. The music sick. Yeah, if you want to go after it, go ahead. Uh, Mickey's definitely our guy. He's got traces of. Um, I get Sab and Kevin in the in like in this room. This is gonna be fucking tough. All right. Um, like it's I was saying, Mickey. Guilty. Uh, reason why I believe that is because a uh, we got a call um, of suspicious activity taking place inside the power plant. Uh, second. I'm looking at you. There's traces of plastic and explosive residue on your person. I can smell it. Yeah, Third, I blew, uh, I blew we're, the power plant. Possibly. There's a report about every single one, Wrangler, uh, if you want to reference that. <clears throat> yeah, I blew the power plant. Why? Uh, I wanted to do some scientific testing for my cybernetic eye. Copy. Mickey's claiming uh, he's taking ownership of the explosion at the power plant saying it's for his science project for his eye. Uh, cyber magnetic eye that he got installed. Uh, it's not installed yet. I'm doing R&D. I'm trying to build one. If you'll notice on my he's person... doing R&D. I'm going to go off notice, radio though. If you'll notice on my person, there was a high-powered magnet as well as night vision goggles. I've been trying to test with the frequencies to see what sorts of uh, tech I can build into a smaller device. Oh, hold on. Are you building a cybernetic Maggie so you can fuck her, you little freak? No, 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 no. A cybernetic eye. Jesus Christ. Listen, Josh, I gave up on Maggie a long time ago, Mr. K. I'm in no, the 2D waifus. Okay, she gave well. Up on you. Let's get that on the record. No, take that off the record. I gave up she on gave her. gave up on you, no, Mick. Scrub that from the record. <sighs> Mickey. Yes. You think I was born yesterday? No. Okay, so you said you've been blowing up the power plant in the past few days. Is that correct? No. Okay. I've been taking advantage of power outages throughout the city to try and test things, but I was growing impatient, so I blew the power plant today to test testing, things. Testing things? I mean, you grew impatient? I found that hard to believe. Okay, look, look, how about we start from the, from, the, from the beginning? When did you wake up today? Um... That is a good question. I have, to, <laughs> I have to think about that. Okay. How long have you been in the city for? Oh, yeah. I've actually been in the city for, um, I don't know, like 10 hours today. 10 hours? Uh, yeah. 10 hours um, from now or in 10 hours in total? 
I don't know, 10 hours in total-ish, maybe? I don't okay. know. So you've been around for 10 hours, okay? Oh, no, not that long, past... actually. Maybe like eight hours. What have you been doing for the past eight hours? Uh, tinkering with settings on the night vision goggles. Uh, testing this magnet to see if I can uh, adjust the night vision goggles to uh, create thermal settings. Hmm. Just when did you get, grew interest in night vision goggles and magnets? Uh, when I lost my eye. And how did you lose your eye? Uh, I was shooting a um, movie, actually. You heard about that like horrible accident where sometimes people get injured on set? Yeah, the yeah. Alec Baldwin incident where... Yeah, unfortunately, shot, yeah. one of my co-stars, um, yeah, fired a gun into my eye. Um, we shouldn't... Uh, Out of the eye, though. What, what would you, um, what was, was your a role misfire. in the movie? Oh, I play the, uh, betrayed, uh, uh, betrayed criminal. Wait, is this a pornography or a film? I can't tell. No, it's or a is film. It both? It's called Ocean's Dump 11. Ocean Dump 11. And then that's when, yep. and by a gun, you mean an actual gun, not a penis, right? You just want to make sure. Oh, that yeah, an actual gun misfired and hit me in the eye. There's a medical so report about it. Uh, you can actually read that. Uh, Emma Gain, the mayor, actually will sign off on the report and confirm I did lose my eye. Okay. Well, in the report, state that um, Ocean 11 man dumped something in your eye. Mm, no, they ended up finding me in the water. What? How'd you end up in the water? I don't know. I don't remember. So you don't remember what happened? Nope. All I know is I woke up in the hospital and lost my eye. Mr. S, are you okay? I'm worried about you. I mean, no, I'm not okay. How would you feel if you woke up in the so, hospital and you lost okay, your eye? I get the movie title is Ocean Eleven. Wait, Ocean Eleven Dump? What was Ocean, it? What was it Ocean's Dump Eleven. Ocean Dump Eleven. Okay. And you're run, you were surrounded by the semen, right? Out in the ocean? If you're trying to insinuate that this was from the other incident where... Nino Chavez accidentally jizzed in my eye. That is a separate incident. While that did cause irritation, I did not lose my eye over that. And yes, there's okay. an incident report for that as well. Filed by Brian right. Knight. No, I remember that. I remember that actually. Okay, perfect. So we got that other record. Okay, that's good to know. So you don't remember what happened to you when it comes to your eye. Correct. I have lost okay. my eye. That is marked uh, on medical records. And I have been pursuing trying to get a cybernetic eye. Why blow up the power plant when you can go into a dark room and, and simulate the same thing you're trying to do? I don't understand. Isn't that uh, extreme? I need to do outdoor testing, and I need to do testing in Los Angeles. Isn't that when... selfish, though? Think about it. You're blowing up the whole entire city's power. Absolutely. Your own satisfaction. Yeah, losing, your, and... losing, losing your eye will make you change your perspective on what is and isn't okay. So you think it's okay if I lose my eye, I can go and maybe uh, disturb the power plant for my own, um, you know, satisfaction and uh, progression for my project. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll have uh, tweaked the things. I just don't like that story, Mickey. I I'm sorry. You're not this, you don't seem like that kind of guy. Oh, I am you that guy. Strike me as a self you, don't, you don't strike me as a selfish person. I think you're quite the opposite. Based on my interaction with you and talking to other people. You've always been, you know, about sacrificing yourself for others. Yeah, well, sometimes so certain opposite. events that leave you in the hospital without an eye um, and with little recollection of what happened will uh, change how you feel about the world. So losing your eye made you see the world differently now. Yeah, literally. Think about it. <sighs> I'm Can sorry, you imagine Mickey. not being able to fly helicopters as well? God, now, allegedly... I might not even be able to fly. I might even be on your level of helicopter flying, which would be embarrassing, honestly. Probably not. Probably still you, better. You better watch your mouth. What would you rather lose, your ball sack or your eye? One of them. Um, oh, realistically, ba one, one ball or ball sack in general, 100%. Why is that? Well, I mean, vision's pretty important, and honestly, you can get by. Well, are, wait, are we talking your whole ball sack or just one? Just one. You just oh, lose 100%. I lose, lose the... Oh, lose a ball. You know, my brother actually lost his ball to testicular cancer. It's, he makes the greatest jokes ever, you know? Like, what he's is like, that? yeah, man, I'm going ball deep. Ball to the wall. Yeah, he can make great jokes with it. Uh, losing vision causes, you know, a lot more issues. So, yeah, I'd rather lose a ball sack or a... What about losing the love of your life? Shut the fuck up. 
Don't you say another word. <laughs> Mickey, would you be okay visitor. with I'll me? Right um, yeah, you're good. Will you be okay with me going through your phone logs? Um, absolutely not. Why is that? Well, that's an invasion of privacy. I don't think you have any reason to go through my phone logs. Uh, it's not invasion of privacy if you give me permission. Well, then no, I don't give you permission. Why is that? Uh, I have copious amounts of uh, hentai on my phone. All, that I, all send I care to about is today. That's it. That's all I care about. I have sent copious amounts of hentai today. To who? <laughs> to who? More like who not to. Honestly, the fact that you're not on you know, my hentai mailing list is kind of embarrassing. Hmm. Well, let's just say uh, I can't pull up my uh, twatter in public because I follow some uh, talented artists. Mickey, you're so lucky that actually now government facilities get backup generators because um, if you deprive, you know, pillbox medical, uh, make sure a PD of power based on your actions, technically speaking, I could probably throw terrorism on you. But due to the fact that they got backup oh, generators. Oh, no, you actually couldn't throw terrorism on me. Why is that? Because uh, there wouldn't you wouldn't be able to prove any political motive for it. It doesn't matter. You're affecting medical neutrality by not allowing people like doctors and EMS uh, to get their job done without yeah, power. But I'm pretty sure to me, yeah, but I'm pretty sure to convict me, you would have to show that I had intent to disrupt those things as opposed to just the purely selfish intent. You just admit it. Hold on a second. Well, no, I never admitted that I had the intent to degree. disrupt those things. I told you I had the intent to carry out a scientific experiment. You can argue the ethics and morality of it, but you wouldn't be able to oh, argue God. that I had the intention of committing a terrorist act. In fact, Don't if anything, it. everything I've said here today proves that I'm actually very uh, fond of EMS, especially Emma Gain, who okay, uh, saved relax. my life. Oh, fuck. All right. Mickey, I'm just having a hard time buying a story. Do you have night vision goggles here? We do. Why is that? He has never just, you know, turned off the lights to test them. We don't have what, night vision goggles for a one-eyed man, though. So I don't think it would be, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, oh, so you can't. Oh, 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 so someone who's one-eyed can't wear. Oh, I, I see. I can't wear glasses yeah, because I only like have one eye. It would be a waste of resources. It'd be really expensive. Therefore, people. Oh, look oh, that's interesting. Oh, so you view that as a waste? Okay. See, now what's interesting normal is you people, wanted... Sorry, you're not normal, well, Mickey. Oh, oh, so missing an eye makes me not normal. Interesting. Yes, you're not. The night vision goggles not very accessible for your. Um, oh, okay. So you guys. Oh, okay. Interesting. Now, see, what's funny is you have made more politically charged statements towards the handicapped and disabled in this one meeting uh, than I have made. Uh, politically charged statements towards government services. So, frankly, the so person you do consider more... someone being handicapped as a political factor in the whole thing. No, me being handicapped drives that. me to ins to experimentation. Yeah, but I never said I lash out Wait, at the government so because of my handicap status. Your actions, therefore, terrorism would stick. Wait, so I'm handicapped, therefore I'm trying to individually help myself. Yeah, because that's your political and how factor does that... to try to make the change within the regime in Los Santos by using an explosive to um, disturb the power plant, therefore to bring focus. You're not to, very right? smart, so are definitely... you? No, I just repeated what you said. No, no, no. What I said is I'm handicapped, therefore I'm con uh, conducting individual Do you think it requires intelligence to be a terrorist, Mickey? Uh, depends which studies you follow about a uh, terrorist cell no, leadership. I'm asking you for your personal opinion, okay, based on your experience. Uh, depends to be an effective terrorist, probably. Come on. Anyways, you consider yourself being an intellectual person. No, I'm really stupid. Anyways, all I said was I'm handicapped. Therefore, individually, I'm trying to conduct an experiment. Uh, to test out for my cybernetic eye. In nowhere did I make any political statements against the government or anything of the sort. Funnily enough, you were the one who actually made some political statements, basically saying that you don't really care about handicapped people. And from I never broader... said that. I, I literally never oh, said that. Oh, it's kind of on record, unfortunately. You're, try you're trying to claim that I don't care for the handicap. I'm trying to show that 
Used in the mode of as being handicapped, being well, you, know, you called man. them. You called them not normal. Uh, was uh, the word you used? Said I wasn't normal. Okay, wow, well, why don't you um... convince me? Why should I care about the handicaps? Come on, Jingle, let's go watch some interviews. Well, if we go with uh, like John was John Rawls and the whole theory of um, uh, God, what's the whole theory where like uh, a bunch of people are stranded on an island and they're restarting society anew, and there's basically baskets of supplies that they get. I mean, okay, it really I'm gonna depends. Hold right I'm gonna apologize yeah, right up? there. That's a TV show, okay? We all know it's scripted. Oh no, no, no! It's a philosophy book, but no, that one is a TV show. I've seen it on TV before. Oh, well, probably both. What's your point, Mickey? Well, my point is that you would never be able to press me with terrorism charges. You're welcome to. I'm currently one and zero against the PD. When you guys have pushed terrorism charges well, on let's me, make that one on one, okay? All right, go for it. So you accept the charge of terrorism? No, no, no. I accept if you want to try to push that charge. Mickey, why don't you start telling the truth here, okay? Because I'm not going to buy you a bullshit story about this, um, you know, high school project to try and pull off here, okay? Because we all know that's not true. Oh, I mean, if a high school student could pull off a cybernetic eye, I mean, that'd be actually very impressive. Would look great on their uh, application. All right, fine. Well, up it to college. There you go. Is that better for you? What do you want? I have high-tech equipment on me. I have my night vision goggles on me. I'm trying to test... Uh, yeah, but how night this vision theory, works at range and outside. Off, it could be done in any sandbox in the city. Why the power plant? You could have done it in anywhere, okay? You could well, go because I live in Los nighttime. Santos and I need to try it when the lights are off here. There's a lot of testing and tuning that needs to be done. Are you aware of the power plant attacks that happened recently? No. Why is that? If you've been in the city for the past eight hours and the power's been going in and out, why aren't you aware of it? Why don't you use that to your advantage to actually do your scientific project? Oh, the power has been out a lot. I've been using that to my advantage, yeah. So how many times do you have to go through a hypothesis or theory to come up with a conclusion for your, um, you know, magnetic eye? Well, let's just say scientific testing requires lots of trials and errors. Let's just say right. sometimes when you're doing scientific testing, you know, you might not fully follow the plan from the get-go, and you might do really you know, stupid shit and get sidetracked by other theories halfway through your plan, which frankly yeah, is poor you know, scientific testing. And I need to work on that. It's not science when you go out there and destroy something that can hurt people. Well, I mean that terrorizing that, the city that can still be science. I mean, it's just the ethics of the science being conducted, but no, now we're just arguing you're taking that scientific project being the power plant, which provides, you know, water and power to the city. And you're taking an explosive. The power plant does not provide water to the city. I don't think. It does actually. What, what do you think happens with the electricity, right? It's turning to water. Well, I thought that'd be the hydroelectric dam that's, you know, further how, how northeast of the city. How do you think it's connected to power, right? It goes underground. It goes all the way to the dam, which controls the flow of water going in and out. Listen, I'm not saying I'm not a selfish person for what I did, but I have no regrets. I want my cybernetic eye, and I need to conduct my testing. Yeah, go for now, it. Now, the it. real question is if I can get Try to thermal all resources that vision uh, activated on the eye. That's actually my next step. You know how you guys have those thermals on Air 1? Do you think I could uh, pay you guys to give me like a sample set of those, like uh, one of the cameras that you guys use for thermal testing? Mickey, why would I try to help you with your project when you have ill will behind it? No, no, no. So, sorry, I don't have ill will behind the project. The conducting of the project is with malice. The intention of the project is not to cause harm, but I would admit that. But you why don't you come to me before that? Why wait till you went to the extreme and you got caught? It's losing an eye changes a man. I get that. I'm sorry you lost your eye, okay? When'd you lose your eye, Mick? Um. <laughs> two years ago. Why is that so funny? <laughs> Wait, it's been that long? I don't know. Do I, can I can I not answer that question? That was a tough one. <laughs> Kay's laughing too. No, I think you did. I think I don't think he lost it in the movie, Bass. 
Oh, <laughs> stick up eye patch, Mickey. Stick up eye patch. Think, I don't think he even lost his eye. I think he's just his, that little eye patch is all big pity thing. He's been posting pictures of it all over his social media. He's hoping Maggie comes across the picture. It's like, oh, my poor Mickey lost his eye. Mm. You shut, you you shut your mouth about him. Maggie, you son of shut a bitch. Out, you shut the fuck up. Oh, Mickey, shut the fuck up. Don't you say her name. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you son of a bitch. How dare you? What the fuck, Mickey? You better keep her name out of your mouth. Truth Fine, I'll sit down. I'll sit down. You're gonna need Son a little eye after this, Mickey, if you keep this up. Okay, all right. Well, Jesus Bass on Christ. radio threatening to take out my other eye. Yeah, this is... Well, if you attack me, I might, you know... IA is going to love this. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's a great response from our PD. Right, right. Yeah, I'm not going after to subdue you. you. Me. I, I'm not going to subdue you according to SOPs. I'm I going said to, you may, okay? I'm you going to threaten to you and it. cause you to lose another eye. Right, yeah. IA is going to love that one. Hey, can I get a copy of this tape, what? actually? You can, yeah, you can take a copy of this tape. <laughs> I my broken. Mr. K, you're okay. I'm sorry for punching you. I was trying to I punch can't. Mickey. <laughs> yeah, why don't you take off the eye patch, Mickey? Let's just see what's behind the curtains. Uh, I can't take off the eye patch. It will uh, cause the eye to get infected. So you're lying. Come on, Mickey. I mean, you can read was... the medical report from Emma Gain. Says that I lost if my you, eye. If your you don't eye believe was that, removed, then... the whole socket would have been taken out, cleaned, and shut. Unless it's fucking empty. Unless it's an open wound, which I don't believe. If you went to the hospital, they'll probably treat that shit. I literally cannot take my eye patch off. <laughs> what if you let me do it? Okay, and now for the record. Um, I would like the record to show that Bass said that. Um, while it's been two years, Mickey. touching his crotch and raising his eyebrows, uh, please, microphone, please note that. It's actually not true. Uh, luckily, we had a camera recording in the top left right there also when it's what's happening. Uh, so it doesn't look you, like Mickey. that camera's on. It looks like it's just the mic that's on. I don't see anything that indicates that the oh, camera's it's on. Blinking. Maybe you should, maybe you I, get two eyes, you see it blinking. I don't see that that camera's on. Also, that camera's facing in a way that it wouldn't be able to get the subtle eyebrow movement and suggestive uh, facial expression that you just gave me there. Yeah, when so we I'm going to refuse there, to answer that question. He was inside, an explosion went off, and then he, got, he left the power plant. We saw everything. And he oh, the what plane. the fuck? Look, that camera's been on. What the fuck <laughs> is that? That camera's been on for two years, actually. <laughs> yeah, is that five days, or is that... Yeah, never mind. Five dog days. Mickey. Yes. Is this going to be like a continuous problem, a pattern where you're constantly going to do this for your eye? Are we going to have a lot of issues with you? Or is this like a once and done kind of thing? Mm, I've gathered some pretty good data. Hey, if you guys actually were to tell me a little bit more about how thermal imaging reads on your uh, helicopters, I actually might be able to finish up my project soon. Maybe one day. Not right now. It's not appropriate. Not after what you did. All right. Well, Mickey, do you understand the ramifications behind your, your behind your action for taking that explosives? Yes, and I accept them. Okay. All right. Well, since you admitted to have an explosive, okay, and using that on a power plant, give me permission to go through property. Uh, no. Why is that? Because I don't want you in my property. You've already made sexual advances okay. on me, and I'm quite uncomfortable. What are you, Mr. K? Has been here the whole entire time. I've done nothing of, you know, what you're. Trust stating me. Right if now. there were sexual advances going on, it would be towards me. <laughs> I'm way better looking. Exactly. You know, I have a type and have standards. Mickey, all I'm asking for you, if you work with me, I can work with you. Okay. You let me go through your properties, check what's going on.
Uh, has she been liking your posts at least? Doesn't even follow me anymore, man. <laughs> Have you blocked me? <laughs> Please tell me you're not blocked, man. I'm not. I'm not blocked, man. But I'm doing that thing where I, that you know, she's still snooping, bro. She's still snooping. I, if you I, ain't blocked, she's still snooping. Uh, no, but like she's posting the IG stories, man, and I like I comment on them. She doesn't. She doesn't respond what the at fuck all. Fuck you, comment on them for? I'm not commenting. I'm just doing the emoji reacts, man. Like a little little fire emoji. Is what you gotta do, Mac. What do I gotta do? You gotta do? go down your local Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay. Go to the garden section. You're gonna buy a bunch of tropical looking plants. You're gonna set that up in your background, all right? Then you're gonna get okay. some sand. You know, throw some sand in your backyard. You're gonna create a whole tropical paradise. You're gonna take pictures, acting like you're on this crazy island adventure. And you're gonna post those to your story and talk about how your life is so great and amazing. And then you're gonna act like you're going through the plants. And you're gonna hire a fucking prostitute or an escort or whatever. You know, and just have them be a model. And you just say, oh my god, look what I found, and have a run over to you. And like, oh my god, Mickey, you're so big and strong. That's actually a good idea. Then boom, the stories end, and right there, she's like, oh my god, what happened? Did they sleep with each other today? Oh my god, what's going on? Then she's gonna hit you up and say, hey, Mick, how you been? Oh my god, I see you living it up. That's a brilliant idea. Hey, um, yeah, I don't know why you're doing all this other stuff. You just do that. Listen, you know, I don't want to pry into, you know, I don't know how much contact you keep with, with the boys. Listen, Rami is, um, I think Rami's kind of going through it there, man. Oh. Rami's, um, I think Rami's worried. Uh, I, I don't know if he's worried that people see him as a cuck or that people are worried that he is a cuck. It's kind of... Yeah, people know he's a cuck. Um, <laughs> I actually arrested Rami not too long ago with his uh, new girlfriend. Oh, April? His girlfriend now. April. you believe that? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. He's been calling me and a lot of the guys and he's like, hey, tell these guys to stay away from April. Are they fucking April? Like this, that, and the third. And I, I, I think he's a little unhinged, you know? Mm. Yep, I would have to agree. Ever since I left him, he's been just full blown in these relationships. It's it's ridiculous. He's lost focus, and I'm glad. I'm glad I'm done with him. What do you question, Mick? You're yeah. a man of culture. What's the first thing you jerked off to? The first thing I ever joke jerked off to probably a Britney Spears music video. Really? Yeah. Really? You don't say which one. <laughs> I think that's a, that's really I'm not actually sure, but I definitely think that was it. Wait, really? Yeah. Me too. Britney Spears I, toxic. Yeah, I don't know if it was. To I think it was like but maybe she's wearing like the see through outfit. Yeah, and and the thing was, it was like I watched the Britney Spears video, and I remember just like feeling some kind of way, and then I was just in the shower, and it was like, oh wow, I can just I can do what this. What the fuck? Is that the same for you? <laughs> How it all started for me, I was in school and some girl asked me what this guy like, hey, do you, do you ever jerk off before? I had no clue what the fuck it was. I said, jerk off? The other, the other dude said, she asked the other guy first. He said yes. So then she asked me, I'm like, oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, of course I do. Hey, so you want to be like, yeah, my friend, duh. What the fuck is jerking off? And he told me, yeah, bro, you, you rub your penis and white shit comes out. So I went home and uh, Britney Spears was just calling my name. Yeah, that was definitely a Britney Spears video for me. That was a transformative moment. I think the biggest moment for me that was hentai um, that really revolutionized the world for me. Fuck, I mean, if you're into Britney Spears, I think they should just let you go at this point. That's what I'm thinking. I agree. Why does Bass always try to be so hard, man? He tries to be so cool. I'm not admitting to this, but allegedly I heard he got into a uh, dog fight with another plane while he was up in one of those uh, fighter jets. Yeah, a uh, bass. And I heard allegedly he lost that dog fight and uh, yeah, crashed the F-22. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. 
the bone dry boys. All right, Bammy will. I, feels like he's kind of had a bone to pick with whoever allegedly did that I since. Shit down in my car. I need to go process. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that right now. I don't know, yo. Yeah. I'll add my casings. For you. you know, that's interesting that that was uh, resolved. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next question. When um. You know, when you're like, you like, I'm, I'm pressed on time. You know, I gotta just, I gotta get this done. What category do you go to, or do you just go to like, do you just sort by hottest or something? You know. Um. Well, actually, I haven't watched porn in a long time. Okay, Mr. Stoic, Jesus. What? I mean, back in the day, let's see. Uh, it's hard, man. It's it's hard out there sometimes, you know? You're just searching and searching, and you're like, damn, like, yeah, seen this? The fuck is this? I feel that way a lot, too. A lot of it's like, yeah, I've already seen this. This was a banger, but, you know, this is old school. And now you're like, ah, this, this is some weird shit. I don't know why people got onto this, you know, step bro shit. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Step bro? Yeah, like step bro, step sis shit. I, the, like, pseudo incest stuff oh like incest but not actually incest yeah well, like why did that why did that start why well um hmm. no question maybe uh maybe they actually have a fucking stepsister or stepbrother and like damn i don't fuck them could be the case man yeah you know uh, art imitates reality or something like that yeah probably What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Dude, this whole thing has been hilarious. What about you, Mick? <laughs> yeah. I think the thing is like, listen, when you watch, you know, regular, you know, porn, I mean, that's just, that's just people like, you're literally just watching people fuck. Like that's kind of, you really think about it. It's kind of weird, right? Hentai is art though. I mean, you know, it's just yeah, like, art it's like, of people fucking. Yeah. Well, it's like one step away from like, you know, Miyazaki, you know, it's just, it's like right there, you know? No, I've never actually even seen, I've never seen like a full blown hentai. Yeah, it's a, it's a dark hole that you might not want to go down. I mean, you've been uh, around a lot of dark holes, Mick? Oh, absolutely. This is all on tape, okay. by the way. I know. This ever goes to court, I mean, this probably will be heard. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just two fucking guys just chilling, chatting it up. I mean, yeah, uh, I would like the record to know that my um, my tags and categories are tentacles and ahegao. Those are my two top. So let that let the record show that, Judge Crane or whoever else. They might get a little turned on listening to this. Probably. The fuck oh, is so Baz you, doing? I mean, this is gonna be a while, so either you sit here or you go to prison. I can go. I can go see what's going on. I'll sit here. I'll be back. Let me know what's up. Oh, I think I hear him. Hey, oh, um, Mickey, I'm I'm spinning the search warrant. Like I said, I just uh, finished typing it up. Adding a, a couple pieces of probable cause uh, supporting, or a couple pieces of evidence supporting my probable cause. Hey, did you, did you know uh, Britney Spears popped this cherry bass? You too? Yeah. Honestly, Britney Spears and Jennifer Lopez back then. Oh, God. It's hard. It was some hard times indeed. Indeed, so, indeed. So, Mickey, we could do this the easy way, where you can give me permission, or we could do this the hard way. I like it hard. Yeah, you like it hard. 
Okay, oh, I'm gonna fuck, tell the recording's on. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, Jesus first Christ. of all, that's that's on the recording. Second of I gotta all, go <laughs> <laughs> second of all, I, before you leave, don't ever, don't ever play that game with me. What I play game are you talking about you. You think this whole thing is a is a game? No, Mickey? no, no. Don't play. Don't play the sexually suggestive moaning game. Okay, listen. I play. League I of Legends. Game of penis. I play League of Legends with Lang Buddha. Trust me, I know how to moan. Oh, <laughs> trust me, I'm not trying to say what you don't know how to moan. Does okay. What does moaning have to do with League no, of Legends? I... Oh. What the fuck are you bringing up moaning for? I just said you like it hard in a sexual way. That's all I said. What the fuck kind of game are you? Are you sure you're playing League of Legends? Oh. You might be playing League of. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, you guys don't want to. You don't want to know. Say, let's just say I played Fortnite with Lang Buddha, so I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. Oh, that's it. Oh, fuck. Ganging top. <laughs> and then usually it's okay. If you really want to know how it usually goes, it usually is like, this guy's just fucking dog shit. Uh, this, this champion, this Trindamir champion is fucking dog shit. Why, why do we not ban this? Uh, Harry, I need you to come gank for me right now. And then he usually oh, I mean, loses his lane play. and then... And then Typical I'm solo killing players, mid lane. Always, and, yeah. mm, always. All right, Mickey. I'll let me go submit this uh, search warrant. Um, and like I said, uh, it shouldn't take more than probably 30, 40 minutes at most. Okay, no worries. Good answer. Back in my day, I was a nice solid, solid silver jacks. Pretty fucking impressive, I know. Honestly, with some of the company I've been playing with, that's not too bad. What can I say, man? What can I say? Just natural born. Isn't Rami supposed to be good at league? Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys 1v1? Oh, yeah. I think he beat me. He did. Wait, he wait. Did he beat he, But he played like Jax into Yasuo. Of course I lost. Yeah, y'all should have been playing the same champion. Yeah. It, I get fucking shit stomped in that matchup. Kay looks badass in the detective outfit. Well, maybe I'll hop on there. Problem is, it's just, it's just so time consuming. Oh, yeah. What, what match is like, what, 40 minutes? Is uh, a full match? No, nowadays it's like 20 to 25. Really? That's not too bad, then, to be honest. Fucking Valorant's worse. The only thing that's nice about Valorant though is like you kind of like always get a reset you know to play different rounds in league one of your lanes fucking shits the bed say your top laner is just tilted and doesn't understand how a matchup works and so he ends up feeding several kills over to a Yorick or a Nasus and the game just snowballs out of control and you it's can't over. do anything it's over once that one dude gets fucking fed up it's over game is fucking yeah. over That's the best fucking feeling though. When you had a nice fucking fat meal, you just start running people over. Oh yeah, when you get fed and then you just fucking pop off. Oh, you just feel like a god. Oh god. I miss it, man. Fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going away, man. Fuck! You're never gonna be able to play again, Mick. Oh, no, they have League of Legends in the uh, prison computers. You didn't know that? Oh, really? Yeah, there's League of Legends, Apex Legends. Yeah. Honestly, we've been getting kind of cracked whenever we go to jail. It's a good idea. Well, I don't really go to jail no more, you know, cleaned up my life and everything. All right, so tell me about you then, Kay. What the fuck happened? All of a sudden, I see you as a detective. What's going on? I just got tired of it, man. Just got fucking tired of it. It makes sense. You're. I found out the criminal world is just full of a bunch of fucking snakes. A bunch of bad fucking people. What's the oh, dude you know from... what's crazy? Man? Yeah, what? After I became a cop, I found something out. 
Yeah, what's that? Well, the the cops told me that um your friend uh what's his name? Your friend X. What about him? Uh he actually uh snitches to the cops and uh he tried to snitch on me in the entire casino heist. Crazy, huh? You know, I would just say I wouldn't put it past him. He's done crazier shit, so. Listen, I'm not saying I'm fond of that kind of stuff, but uh, just doesn't you know, surprise me. It just helped me feel better about my decision. I was switching up my life. There's no ethics in that world. Yeah, you're like that one dude from uh, Catch Me If You Can, you know, who ended up helping the feds to stop scammers and stuff. Yeah, I'm right. I've been reborn. Yeah. I always knew it. I knew you'd turn on us eventually, on us criminals. What? Like you turned on me, Mick? Yeah, but this well, is like weird. how Maggie turned on you. Yeah, well, one is someone leaving reaction. an individual. An individual leaving a gang, but you, you left an empire, a brotherhood, a way of life. You did too, Mick. You left that same fucking empire. Yeah, I never betrayed who I was. You can argue that I left. I never betrayed who I was. I stayed true to myself. But look at you, Mr. K. You were the most feared man in all of Los Santos. Uh, to call you a gangster or a mobster would be disingenuous. You were... You were, you were the Don. You were the leader of the most feared gang in the city. And now look at you, a fucking cop. Detective. Fucking detective. Doesn't matter. I want you to know. It hurt us all. Not just your own boys. I'm sure they're fucking destroyed. But you know, everyone in the city looked up to you. Seeing you go and join the fucking pigs. Disgusting. Yeah, it's almost as disgusting as Maggie just leaving you dead with your best friend shot in your back. Okay, okay. Slobs on his dick. Don't you, don't you ever speak her name again. You know, there's something similar though between you and Maggie. What the fuck is that? You're both getting back shots. You better be careful there too, buddy. Streets are going to remember how you turned on them. We're going to want blood. I highly doubt that, Mick. Seems the streets don't really care about all that stuff anymore. Like I said, there's no ethics. There's no standards. It's a disgrace, really. I'm here to put a fucking end to it all. You know, I always thought it'd be you who would try to come and kill me, but now, <laughs> you're nothing but a fucking cop, detective. You're nothing now. You just said what I was. I'm a detective. How am I nothing? Okay. okay, well, okay, to us that's nothing, you know. It's just it's it's a pedantic. It's a, it's a you know, it's a one liner, you know. It doesn't but fucking matter. Something. Nothing is something. Something hey, is nothing. So then tell me, Detective K. When one of these crews, your old crew, any crew, guns you down in the street. Who's going to solve the mystery of that, huh? 
This is all to make K seem legitimate. It's all on I'm Mike. I'm see him try. I've yet to be even shot. Better knock on wood there, buddy. No one trusts you anymore. We all know what kind of fucking rat you've become. My fellow officers trust me. That's all I need. Fuck, yes! Dude, this is sick. It's all on record, too. The K-Mickey conversation. <clears throat> so you guys know, in character, Mickey fully believes K is still a dirty cop. All of this is just because it's on record. He's only talking shit to basically make sure if the cops ever watched this back, they would still, uh, they would think Kay really has You're lost very himself. Careful for you, trust me. The criminal world is full of very selfish people, you could say. They get backed into a corner, and all of a sudden, they're not so friendly with you. chose the right side the side of justice yeah we'll be careful about that side if you pit someone even slightly too early in a chase you will be shot or if you pit them at a slightly inopportune angle or if you pit them slightly too fast honestly if you pit someone in a chase you'll probably get shot you need to understand something now My name is Detective Motherfucking K of the LSPD, and I pay when I want to fucking pay, and they ain't gonna do shit. Now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, K, you look you look terrible in that picture. <laughs> fucking excuse me. What? I mean, it's that hat. Like, well, why are you wearing that hat? Oh my God. <laughs> excuse me. You heard what I fucking said. Make me fucking sick. I'm a changed man, Mick. You gotta accept it. How do your boys react to this? Well, as you'd expect, but I've now arrested Rami for a total of about 300 months. He's my little bitch now. So, <laughs> what changed? <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. They can hate me all they want, but I'm still the little fucking daddy at the end of the day. Fuck, that's kind of hot. That's what I'm saying, man. All these criminals can hate me all they want. But when it comes to it, I'll still be their daddy. Dude, Kay's detective arc is so sick. All right, you guys can take us out of emo mode only mode. I think all the meta stuff of what could or I, I'm getting rated anyways. So you guys can take us out of emo mode only. Yeah, this has been fucking great. Okay, actually, can I get some food and water? I'm going to pass out. I <clears throat> was not really paying attention to my hunger. Sure, let me ask my comrades. Yeah, just so you guys know, in in from Mickey's POV, Mickey 100%, Mickey 100%, doesn't think K has turned his back on the criminal world. He thinks this is all complete bullshit. He's just aggravating K and like saying this shit because it's being recorded.
Uh, dude, I mean, like, you guys have to understand. I'm not, I'm going to just put it in fucking emote only mode. In a situation like this, the best thing to do, put it in emote only mode. Here we go, Mickey. Wait, one second. Um, I, I, can, let you run out. I need a food or some food as well. Um, I want to put it in emote only mode. And I know you guys are like, well, get a lawyer, do this, do that. No, no, no. I was 100. I wanted to 100% not get a lawyer. I want to go emote only mode. No suggestions from chat. And I want to just fu like when you have a chance to interview or like to, uh, to RP with Sab and Kevin in a fucking room like this, you take that, right? Like that's just gonna be content. Like you have to take that yeah, okay. and see if you can improv with them. Like that's like, that, that's literally, that's how you get better as uh, in RP. Like in a spot like this, you just got to roll with it.